chickpea. These are also one of the same kind of restaurant where you are paying it uh, for every single uh, dish. You just need to pick and in the end uh, you get the price. Uh, total for all these things is 31. I picked uh, chickpea, uh, but it's salad and uh, yogurt along with uh, I'm going to have the bread. Which tash? So there are two ways to explore uh, Bosporus. Uh, one is to take the cruise in the night, uh, which will cost you 160, 170, uh, sometimes 180 as well. Uh, that comes with the dinner, uh, belly dance, and some shows. Uh, but if you really want to explore the Bosphorus uh, and you just want to cruise around, want to see the city in the daytime, in the in the daylight, then uh, I would prefer you to take the normal ferry, uh, like this one. These are very good ferries. Uh, these are very good ferries operated by the government, and uh, the price is unbelievable. Literally, it's un unbelievable. Uh, it's just uh, three liters, I guess. Uh, that's a flat price. You go from one place to another. It's gonna charge you the same. So I'm gonna take two, three trips from here to there and um, to some other place, which I am not sure which one I'm gonna take right now. And with this ferry, you can see the entire Istanbul, the, Istan the entire Bosphorus uh, in less much time and yes, in the daytime. And I found uh, two more options here. Uh, one is the Bosphorus tour again uh, that will cost you 25 lira but uh, that is just for one and a half hours and uh, they will uh, take you back here in Bishtash and the second one is uh, the Prince Island which I wanted to go uh, when, when I decided this trip but right now I don't have a time maybe in the last day of my trip I'll try to go to the Prince Island
hotels in their homes. <laughs> I can't believe it. these are homes. People are living in here. <laughs> with me twice uh, where in uh, the people mentioned that uh, something was 5 lira but uh, when the bill came it was 10 lira when I asked them they bring a new menu which was saying uh, 10 lira <laughs> uh, this thing uh, doesn't happen in the restaurants where you need to pick the dish uh, it generally happens in the fancy restaurant uh, especially in Taksim because uh, they know all the tourists are there, all the foreigners are there and uh, being an Indian, I have a habit to calculate everything in Indian rupees and <laughs> then order something that's kind of Indian thing so, so, Yeah, mix, right? Where is that? No Already bought this one already. Okay. And got almost uh, TKD Turkish delight from here. Uh, I didn't pack uh, the baklava. I tasted here. I really like it. But I'm not packing it because it's also available in India and almost have the similar taste. But uh, these delights, no one has that kind of a taste. So. Yes, back uh, two kg. I think that's not even enough, but <laughs> let's see who's gonna get it. And these donuts is the second best uh, street food in uh, Turkey. It's all over in Turkey. Uh, people love to eat it, and uh, they can give you the cheese, the butter, or maybe the peanut butter. I I had it like two times, but. I didn't like it because it's like so hard to eat but people love to eat it here with the, with the tea or with the coffee so you can try that as well Shishan. And here I reach the Blue Mosque, the most iconic building of Istanbul and Turkey. The place which is very religious, very important place for uh, Islamic people. Yes, and I'm going to visit this one. I'm feeling very blessed. The terrace uh, plan for Blue Mosque is glorious. You, I can't even explain in words. You really need to visit to see everything by yourself.
it was uh, such a peaceful environment inside uh, you should really visit if you're coming here no matter what religion you belong to please visit blue mosque and yes Hagia Sophia as well that's also very beautiful uh, so I have seen almost everything in Istanbul uh, I didn't touch the most part of Asia means like the Asian part of Istanbul but I guess I have seen almost everything so this is going to be the end of uh, Turkey vlogs uh, with the warm blessings of uh, Sultan Ahmed uh, Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia I think this is the right place to end the series now I'm just heading back to my hotel to pick up my luggage and uh, then I'll leave uh, from here to Sabiha and for Delhi next vlog is uh, going to be the experience about the flyness uh, flyness airline uh, from here to Delhi uh, I have a, a layover in uh, Riyadh for two hours and then Delhi so let's end this series here okay I'll see you at some other destination very soon Gule uh, Gule <laughs> Gule Gule means uh, it's like see you soon or uh, goodbye for now uh, in Turkish the one thing which I really missed here is the Galata Tower I seriously can't believe that I missed the Galata Tower <laughs> like it'll, it'll take max half an hour to go there and to come back but I don't have half an hour I can't believe this Also missed here that is hammam that's a traditional massage of uh, Turkey but I missed it I really thought everywhere that I'll take it today tomorrow today tomorrow but I missed it <laughs> can't believe I stayed here for almost 15 days and still and this is Bang Hostel uh, that is right in Taksim. It's a wonderful place to stay for all the backpackers uh, because they have uh, one thing which is very very essential for all the backpackers that is they have the key lockers yes and it's a digital key so if you you will not need to worry about uh, that you are going to lose your uh, baggage they have a rooftop uh, uh, restaurant where they also serve the breakfast definitely it's gonna be the best yeah that's it heading for the airport now <laughs> <laughs>